class 12th March. Now next topic of the same lesson human reproduction is gametogenesis. Gametogenesis. What is gametogenesis? That is the formation of gametes, male gamete and the female gamete is called the gametogenesis. Today we are going to start from the oogenesis. Oogenesis is occur in the female, human female and it is the process of formation of the ovum. So it is called the oogenesis. Oogenesis occurs in human female. Human female. Okay. Now what is the oogenesis process? Actually, this process is started from the mother womb. When the female fetus is developed inside the mother's uterus of the womb, this development or the process of oogenesis is started inside the mother's body only. In the first month of the gestation period, that is gestation period or we will call it the embryonical development. In the first month of the embryonical development, what happened? There are near about 1700 primary follicle cells are produced in the ovary. In the first month of in the first month of first month of embryonical development embryonical development Nearly 1700, 1700 primary follicle follicles are produced, definitely it is produced by mitotically produced in ovary. This occurred in very beginning, very beginning in the in the first month, first month of pregnancy or first month of gestation or the first month of embryonical development, nearly 1700 primary follicles are developed or produced in the ovary, female ovary. Now what happened in the second month? It divides mitotically again, again and again and in second month this number rises up to 6 lakh. What happened in second month? In second month, because of the continuous division, this number reaches up to 6 lakhs. That is, in the second month of second month of embryonical development or gestation period embryonical development or gestation period this this 1700 primary follicles divide mitotically mitotically to form nearly nearly 6 lakh of primary follicles. Okay, now what happened next? Up to the 5th month of gestation period of embryonical development, the number of primary follicle increases up to 7 million. Up to fifth month of gestation period or embryonical development, the number of primary follicles rises up to 7 million, up to 7 million. But what happened next? After these, this process gets stopped. It 
gets shrink, the process gets stopped and the primary follicle starts shrinking. At, after the 15th, 5th month, the primary follicle starts shrinking and in one part, this process gets stopped. Okay, this process gets stopped and starts shrinking. And this is called atresia. Okay, after 5th month, Primary follicles, primary follicles starts shrinking. After this fifth month, and this process is called atresia. Called atresia. What is atresia? Atresia is the shrinking of. Atresia is the shrinking of the primary follicle. Actually, the process gets stopped here. Okay, this process gets stopped. This development of primary follicle gets stopped here. When the baby, the female baby gets birth, at the time of the birth, ovary has nearly 2 million primary follicle. From 7 million, it goes to the 2 million. When? At the time of birth. At the time of birth. The 7 million primary follicle due to atresia reaches up to 2 million. Okay. What happened? At the time of at the time of birth of female child female child the ovary of the female child ovary contain nearly 2 million of 2 million of primary follicles. Okay, it means it reduces this atresia is going on and it goes from 7 million to 2 million. This position is still fixed at the time of the puberty. It means the formation of the ovum or the ogenesis actually start before the birth. But it gets stopped after the fifth month, month of the gestation. Then when it start again, it start again at the time of the puberty. This process start again. The primary follicle start action after the uh, at the time of the puberty. Nearly after the after ten to twelve or more than that time after the birth. Okay, that is the second part of the development of this. So, it is called the discontinued process. One question is there. Okay, this process is called discontinued process. I am going to write here. This is called discontinuous process. And why it is called the discontinued process? Because this process actually started in the warm of the mother body. It starts just the, from the first month of the development of the fetus, and it is continuously up to the fifth month of the development of fetus. And after that, the process gets stopped. Shrinking is going on, and it is stopped till puberty. It is stopped up to the puberty age. When the puberty age is going on, in some female it is of the 10 years, some after 12, 13, 14. What will the puberty year is that? After that, this process start continuously. So this process is called the discontinued, discontinuous process. This process again start at the time of the puberty. Okay. At the time of the puberty, at the time of puberty, we have to know what is the position of the primary follicle. The number of the primary follicle reaches up to 60 to 80,000. Primary follicle is at the time of puberty about 60 to 80,000 primary follicles are present. 60 to 80,000 primary follicles are present primary follicles are present 
So it is a discontinued process. The process which is stopped in the fifth month, it is started at the time of the, this process. It is start at puberty. So this process is called the discontinuous process. Okay. Now out of sixty to eighty thousand primary follicle, out of five hundred primary follicle, only one primary follicle is developed into egg. Out of 500 primary follicle, only one primary follicle develops into, develops into egg. Okay, it means in other words, we are able to say in the female body, the number of eggs is stored before the birth of the female child. Now what happened next? This development of primary follicle is actually completed in three steps. First is called the multiplication phase. Definitely it multiplies continuously. Multiplies means the mitosis division takes place. One cell divided to, to form two, two to four, four to eight, eight to sixteen and this the, the process is going on continuously. That is called the that is multiplication phase. Now after that the growth phase is there. Growth phase means the development of the egg. The development of the uh, yolk actually the development of the yolk yolk is the yellow part of the normal egg if you know the hen's egg the yellow part is called the yolk the development of the yolk the amount of the yolk which is responsible for uh, the development of any egg so that is yolky part and that is the growth phase and after the growth phase the maturation phase occur and that maturation phase is related with the meiosis cell division now how the primary follicle get converted into ovum Next is the how the primary follicle get converted into egg or ovum. Okay, now conversion of primary follicle into ovum. I am going to rub this also. Must remember the two process of division is only there. One is called mitosis and one is called the meiosis. Mitosis is the equational division and the meiosis is the reductional division. The next is the development of primary follicle into ovum. Development of primary follicle follicle into ovum or egg. That is the female gamete. We are studying about the gametogenesis that is the formation of gamete. Now what happened? Out of 500 primary follicle, one cell start to develop for the further process that is called the formation of female gamete. So this is the one cell that we call the primary follicle. Okay, what happened? This primary follicle goes in the first phase of the division and that is called the multiplication phase. Due to this multiplication phase, multiplication phase, what happened? It is associated with mitosis. The only mitosis is there which increase the number of cells. So mitosis process is going on. At the time of mitosis, the condition of this cell is the diploid. Okay, due to the continuous division, the number of cells increases here and it gets enlarged. Again, it is 2n in nature. The nature here is only the 2n. And at this time, it is called ogonia. Ogonia. What we call it this time, we call it the ogonia. Now what happened next? In the next, it enters in the growth phase. Growth phase. Growth phase actually illustrated with the presence of yolk, the yellow part inside the this egg. Present of the yellow part inside the egg. That we call the yolk formation. Okay. Yolk formation. Yolk formation. Some comparatively studies there. 
in human and in hens in human or hens in birds the amount is near about 200 the amount of this yolk is near about 200 in frog that is amphibians it is near about 2000 okay but in drosophila in drosophila it rises up to 90,000. So this is called the growth. Growth that is directly related to the yolk formation. This is called vitellogenesis. Okay. Formation of yolk. Formation of yolk is called vitellogenesis. In different organ, uh, in different uh, organism, it is of the different type. Different organs, you will have the different than human. It is near about 200 part. In hens, it is 200. In frog, it is 2000. In drosophila, it is 90,000. And this is going on. So this is actually the called the growth phase. In growth phase, the yolk get the bulk. The bulk of the yolk is formed inside the cell. Which is very much important for the development on the further stage. Okay. So this is called the growth phase. After the growth phase, the cell is now called primary ocelle. It increase in size and it is called, again okay, it is two end in nature and it is called primary ocelle. Primary ocelle. Now what happened next? It moves towards the maturation phase. Towards the maturation phase. Maturation phase, it means the cell get mature. And what happened in maturation phase? Actually, meiosis division is occur here. This cell is divided into two due to meiosis 1. Meiosis 1. It's divided into two. This is one nucleus and this is one nucleus. I am going to draw the nucleus. First the nuclear division is there. That is called the karyokinesis. And then the cytoplasmic division is there. If you remember in meiosis 1, the prophase 1 is there. Prophase 1 is the longest stage or phase of any cell division. Because it is completed in five steps. Okay, what is the important of this step here? We must stop it some later. Now, this is two nucleus which is formed as the result of the meiosis 1. The karyokinesis is going on. But cytokinesis, in cytokinesis, out of this two nucleus, both have N in nature, N and N, only one is going for the development of the egg. It means it wants more nutrients so, the cytoplasmic division is not the equal division. It is an unequal cytoplasmic division. Okay. Unequal means less cytoplasm is here and more cytoplasm is here. Less cytoplasm. Because you are not, the cell is not going to participate in the further stage. And this is called the first polar body. First polar body. Okay. And what is this? This is the part which is going to participate in the further stage. Now, this is 2N called the primary oocyte. This is N and it is called the secondary oocyte. You know, meiosis is not completed yet. Here it is called the meiosis 1 that is a reductional division. Then the meiosis 2 is there that is called the equational division. This is divided again into 2. Again the nuclear division is same but the cytoplasmic division is the unequal. It contains less cytoplasm and this is called the second polar body. In the course of time this polar body is degenerated. In course of time, this polar body is degenerated. What happened to this next cell? This having the nucleus, having large number of the cytoplasm. And this is called otit. It is called 
supported again this ending number we also call it ovum or we call it egg but what happened the when the secondary oocyte is formed this process is called ovulation you know very well what is ovulation the releasing of ovum from the ovary it is called ovulation this is the part which is formed in the ovary then it release it is developed when the male sperm reaches to the secondary oocyte then this development is occur this de development is strictly related with the for uh, uh, with the formation of sperm when the sperm is entered when comes in the contact of the sperm then only the secondary oocyte get converted into ova okay which form after the sperm entry of the sperm okay this process is nearly stop here only and this process occur this process occur only when only entry of sperm if the sperm is not entered in the female body this egg is not formed after ovulation this part is degenerated after ovulation the egg is formed only when the male sperm reaches up to the female secondary oocyte i all told you the meiosis one is very much important okay why the meiosis one is important the primary oocyte you know, it is actually it is formed the meiosis one is going on that is the prophase one is going on at the time of diploid stage so diploid in structure it is 2n is a structure meiosis one is going on that is a reduction division prophase one is the longest phase of any cell division so at the time of the diploid stage at diploid stage or diploid phase that is the diploid phase it is part of it is part of prophase 1 prophase 1 of meiosis 1 prophase 1 of meiosis 1 so at the time of the diploid phase the process is arrested here the process is stopped here at diploid phase the process is process is arrested the process get stopped here at the time of the diploid phase and then this process is started when this process is started it is started afterward when the sperm enter inside the female body so what happened in the process of oogenesis actually in the oogenesis before oogenesis we must know the primary follicle is the built in process built in um, follicles which the female body get from the mother's body before birth okay after the fifth month of the uh, uh, that gestation period or the embryonical development nearly 2 million of the primary follicle stayed in the female fetus but at the time of the birth that number reduces up to 60 to 80000 and out of 500 only one primary follicle has the ability to develop into ovum and what happened it crosses three phases that is the multiplication phase then growth phase and this third phase is called maturation phase this is called the maturation phase okay this is the degenerated i'm going to rub it this is called the maturation phase it is completed into three maturation phase it is completed into three phases in multiplication phase the number of cell multiply continuously mitotically to increase the number of the cell in growth phase the yolk is increasing the number of the amount of yolk is increasing and it is varied from organism to organism in female 
uh, human it is near about 200 then after the growth phase the maturation phase is started when the primary follicle which is 2n in number and we call it the primary oocyte it divides meiotically uh, meiosis and meiotic division is there meiosis 1 and in meiosis 1 it get converted into secondary oocyte and then secondary oocyte meiosis 2 occur what process is going on here that is the meiosis 2 and due to the meiosis 2 it gets converted into otid ovum or egg and this process occur only when the sperm enter inside the body and must remember in meiosis 1 at the diplotin phase this process get arrested this process get stopped at the diplotin stage of the prophase 1 okay after that this process occur when the sperm reaches inside the female body and this release of the primary or secondary oocyte is called the ovulation